Yeah, so big dogs, it's about it's about time I clean up all this hardware for the for the Brembos. So I've just got some white spirits here. So I'm just gonna leave them in this for a bit. You can see there's like surface rust and stuff on there. So I just need to I put that inside that chemical afterwards, that evaporist. But we'll just leave this in here just to get all the dirt and stuff off for a bit. And I'll agitate it in a sec, but I don't really want to splash it into my face. So little things like this, like when I when I got them, there wasn't enough of these clips and stuff. We'll also fix up all like a couple of these, see all the rust and stuff. We'll leave these in the evaporous too, get them all cleaned up. Just old tools I found lying around in the toolbox. It's like these, right? There wasn't enough of these when the brakes were sent. The guys put some pins and stuff through your just well, wire, sorry, not even pins. And even these, the the bolts. I've got like enough bolts, I think, for like one caliper or something. So, yeah, I'll have to buy some of these. I just want to clean them up anyway, see how nice, how clean they come, how clean I can get them. These you wouldn't necessarily reuse because of the holes in there they're all blocked up and stuff so you could use do like a i don't know try and do some sort of invasive clean but you don't want these to be blocked because that's where the brake fluid's got to run through so you normally just buy new ones of these but we'll clean them up anyway see how they come out so yes yeah, so i'll agitate those a little bit let them sit and then yeah come back to it okay we'll fish out something in here yeah that's pretty dirty Got to use your toothbrush. I've really, really brushed my teeth over this morning, so I can use it a bit later again before bed. Just remember to rinse it. <laughs> Legends. You could use something more aggressive, like your wire walls and stuff, but it'll, it'll mar the finish. I mean, the finish is probably so shocking and dear anyway, so I don't think it's really going to matter, to be honest. But. Just a little bit of build up there. See, you can't tell if that's like brake grime or what. Or... Oh, it's coming off. That was one of the worst ones anyway. And like I say, once you've got all this off, you'll, um, you'll be able to see if there's any sort of rust and stuff sitting there. Once you've got all the crap off. Breaking my toothbrush here. Come on now. I think you get the premise anyway, so yeah. Let me clean up the rest and I'll show you guys after. This is why you need to really try and explain something to you. This is why you need to maintain your brakes and all that kind of stuff because things like this, right? Some of them are. If you feel there's one that's like really badly scratched, we see all these like those bits there. I don't know if it's picking it up nicely in the camera, but those are like wear marks, and some of them are really like quite badly indented where they're sort of maybe stuck on or something. Like there's one, it's quite a big dip. So that just means the caliper, the caliper won't slide, won't slide nicely on there. And these are these are like to be honest. 
to be honest, you'd want to, you'd want to probably, when you, when you get those sort of, like, those pretty hectic dents, you can see in there as well, and there, and there, see all that? You can see, like, it's, it's quite badly indented. And then you're going to want to, like, even here where they've, they've gripped it with, like, a mole grips or something at some point to pull the pin out or something, you can see. Feel those scratches like if it if it was just those and they've done it on one I'd maybe hit it with like some emery paper or something and That'll clean it up But when you get sort of dents in them and stuff with it with a pad sort of just stayed in one place I don't know you could maybe smooth them out a bit. Maybe I'm over exaggerating, but you want them to pretty much Be as round as possible and be as smooth so the brake caliper can slide nicely and Yeah, so how many things that I have because I, obviously I took the I launched the wire like I'm not going to put wire back in there so I'll probably need to get some more of these clips because you have one on the end of each but you pretty much end up getting a pack so I might just end up getting a pack of these with the with the clips but uh, like I say I'll still clean them up to show you guys how, how they come out the things I'm doing now because I'm, I'm going to put them into the rust into the evaporust but what I do what makes it a little bit easier is you try and knock off like as much rubbish that's on the top of them first knock off all that loose like crusty yeah and don't try and put it stab it into your finger like i just did they yeah, knock off as much of that crusty rust as possible and if you're going to reuse the bolts you're going to want to go to sort of what i did was I try and get as much of the stuff out of the threads because that chemical won't work its way in. And that's just built up like rusts and rubbish in there and grime. You get dedicated cleaning tools to clean threads. I haven't got one of them. So I'll just use this. It's already coming out quite clean. Yeah, if you put a lot of preparation into the prior cleaning of it then that chemical just works so much nicer works well anyway but it's just much much better if you do all this you'll just take less time because it's not very fast fast acting either Even when I think the, the threads aren't that gunked up, I'll still just run it all the way down. Make sure if I start to just go all the way to the bottom. Because there's enough little bits in there. Let's run it back from here. Sometimes if people use like Loctites and stuff, you'll have to knock this that out too. Same method. What I'd recommend though is you get like either, obviously maybe a really clean bolt or something and just run it through the threads or thread cleaner and run it through your calipers at the same time because these things have a these calipers have a um, tendency to strip. You always see people heli coiling them in the end because they just strip them all the time. But if you clean the threads properly and stuff, it should be, it'll just be a little bit better, I suppose. So what have I done? So I've worked on that, I've knocked all. So what I'll do is I'll just run this behind here, knock off all the extra.
like I say, most people will just buy new bolts, which is not a problem. You can do. If they're really, really badly rusted, which is odd class is pretty bad. Once you clean them, you might see a lot of pitting and stuff, and potentially, you know, you can lose the integrity. The bolt can lose its structural integrity, integrity really. So you've got to be careful. Let's see if you knock all this off as much as you can, and then yeah, we'll chuck it in the chuck it in the chemical. So give me a sec. I'll bring you back to there. Well, I'll show you actually what we got. So these didn't. I couldn't clean them up too much. Now all I can imagine is that sort of like brake dust and that rusting sort of hard finish is just the brake dust sitting on top of that, on top of that sort of stainless finish. Some you can see where it's broken through in some points, but we'll see how they can, how well the chemical does in this too. Once we clean them up, this should come out real nice. But you can also see there where it's gone through a bit of the finish and rusting behind. And then these little babies here, like yeah. Most people, you wouldn't reuse these. Just buy some new ones of them. But yeah, we'll clean them all up. We'll see. We'll, put, we'll leave them in the chemical. That's a time time consuming thing. So we'll revisit this probably tomorrow. And I'll show you guys how they've come out. Vaporous, super safe rust remover. Let's see. Watch your eyeballs. Make sure it's all covered. We'll leave it to do its magic. Yeah, I really like this stuff. It's just because it's not really that strong and stuff, it doesn't. Like if you put in some of the other rust removers, like I said before, it'll just strip the thing clean of all the finish, the stainless finish, the whole lot. You can see it's reacting a little bit already. You see like a slight bit of like moving and bubbling in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's coming up. So it'll probably eat away those like the brake dust metal bits on the top too. Yeah, so we'll just leave that to do its work, its magic. And we'll come back to it. Okay, superstars, we're back. The next day is put on these babies because we're going to pour some of this chemical off quick. We don't want any of this in our eyeballs. Can't really see much in there, but you will see the magic. Just pour off as much of the stuff as I can, really. <clears throat> Got a bit of a smell to it. Okay. So what do we got? Okay, so those already look a little bit better. Let's give them a little. Let's see. A bit of light agitation. You don't want to let the you don't want to take the stuff out of that chemical and just let it dry because it keep gets leaves it like with a weird yellow mod finish. There's a lot of rubbish in here. I couldn't get out. As expected, it would leave a little bit of a like a mark to it, but it's pretty cool, right? I'll just try and wipe it off with this. Yeah, it comes straight off. So what you do is if yours, like with your parts, normally sometimes I'll give it another 
don't know if you can see that seed tile, any bit of rust behind there. I'll try and clean it. Because I don't, what this chemical does, I don't think this chemical like can get through all the layers. So once you get the first bit off, then you give it another round. But then again, like the more you keep leaving it in there, it'll start taking a bit of that finish off. I think the more and more you do it. So you don't want to leave it on there. You don't want to leave it in there for too long. But that's pretty, pretty sweet anyway. Most people will be happy with that. But this is why you want to really just maintain your, maintain your brakes and stuff. Because if you keep them generally clean, like if you keep keep them clean to an to a pretty high standard, better than average. Be careful here with this kind of stuff because you will scratch the finish. But I want to try and get this 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 crusty stuff off. He says be careful and I scratch it. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. Try and get this one in here. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of surface rust there, so that that that'll do another that'll do another trip. I'm just trying to try and get in here. Just try and get in every really. Oh for God's sake, I didn't want to tear these gloves. I mean, yeah, for, for most people, this would be perfectly fine. But I want to clean it properly. Just there's that. You can see this like yellow stuff, that's from when I've done this previously. That'll maybe knock off with a little bit more of a harsh. To be honest, you could put a polishing wheel on that and even more, it'll come out even better. Because that will come off if I scratch it. So yeah, I'll we'll just give them a general clean because I don't want these bits to dry in here. Even though they're probably going to go back in. Yeah, so it's more of a thing to just not... You don't necessarily need to throw all of your stuff away. You can try and salvage some stuff. Thing is, like these parts are widely available now, but in years to come, they just won't be. And to be honest, not even that. These this these parts are expensive, man.
they're really expensive you know you start putting in all this like i put you know if i went and bought all this you're talking in the extra hundreds and hundreds of pounds for all brand new stuff like i'm gonna probably need to uh, buy new pins potentially and those would be quite expensive but even when i did the new you know the brembo seals and all that kind of stuff you price all that up you your seals are always put new so yeah that's neither here nor there that's a necessary spend but you know that you're ready 200 maybe 300 in just on seals and new pistons and that one no i don't think you get pistons for that it's just the seals if you're talking all the new hardware to go along with it oh gosh very expensive so you try and sell this as much as you can This is just for for looks, but for me it's function too. Because let's say that you just keep, let keep leaving that to corrode and corrode that that little rivet will come off. It'll just rust off. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and find a little brush brush to get in there later, but I won't bore you guys with that. See these babies might not need to go back in. These there's this guy. But if I want to get it perfect, yeah, I'll need to get that back in there. Okay, so... I haven't got the gloves on now, but this is all cleaned up. So this is round round one. I'm going to chuck it back in because of those little bits in there. So we'll get that back in just for another round. Here's the bolts. You can still see some surface rust, quite crusty. And you can see the sort of damage that it does to the bolt. But, you know, most people would be perfectly happy with that. But I'm not. Try and see. See? So where you can see where the rust has built up and there's this where, this, where the pins where it would have slid. There's little indentations there. You can feel it slightly with your fingers. But yeah, now the rust's coming out, you can see slight pitting. And these these guys didn't come out too bad. These, I think they're banjo bolt, called banjo bolts. They didn't come out that bad. So it's pretty cool, but they'll go back in for one little, one more blast. So yeah, pop them all back. No need to clean out the container or anything. Oh, the pins came out nice. The pins cleaned up, cleaned up quite nicely. So then they're not going in again. There's not even enough of them anyway, so never mind. And like I said, I'll just revisit these again tomorrow. Reuse this again. I might put a little bit more on top. yeah that is that so we'll let that go for a little bit longer bring guys back to tomorrow and we will go from there okay let's see again <clears throat> this is day two day two in the good old chemicals big dogs let's do this shit. let's pop these babies right on because we don't need to be blind anytime Got the old mistage kicking off now, can't see a thing. Pull this jungle juice out. It looks nice and shiny, see all the specks of metal and stuff in there. Don't you dare, mate. Okay. Swag, swag. Put that on, it absolutely reeks. Yeah, normally your second go around comes out pretty sweet. It's just uh, instead of boring you guys with doing what I did the other day or yesterday. Yeah, there we go. Still got a tiny bit there.
I'm just trying to get this stuff off. I mean, to be honest, I'm cleaning them with a pretty dirty towel anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so you could you could probably use a polisher or something. Make them a little bit better. Those ones had those like black specks on them. Let's see if this comes off. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I could probably do with a polish now. But I really wanted to get that like erosion stuff in their way. Which has worked. These will probably be free of free of any rust particles now. You guys can't see with the camera, I doubt, but there's like little holes, tiny little dimples. And that's because all the rust has been eaten out of those holes now. Yep, cool. The bolts may need another go around because they're pretty, pretty bad. But yeah, these pins look pretty cool. The darkness there is just the different metal. Yeah, just the metal's like a different color in there. But it's all gray at least, that's what you want to see. Don't really want to see any oranges or any browns. Because that means you still got rust there. It's actually amazing what the like how the rust actually eats away at the stuff. These guys came out really nice actually. You would you would need a clean if you really wanted to reuse these, you would go into like an ultrasonic sonic bath or something and get the because there'll be loads of rubbish in there but those came out really cool let me just stop this first oh no let me do it let's do a bolt and have a look at a, uh, one of the bigger there's one with quite a bit of soiling on it yeah i think these bolts will need to go again i don't know let's see Just trying to go through all the threads of tip of my nail. Let's see if what knocks what gets knocked out. To be honest, ugh, I don't know what that was. I'd probably put that in one more time because it's, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, there's a little bit of like that dark bit there. Sorry, you probably can't see that's too close to my face. Sometimes it'll just knock off that rust, but let's check. Like even something tiny like that, when I go to this, when I go to this extent of cleaning it. No, nah, there we go, just wiped off. Yeah, when I go to the extent that I have done to clean it up, I'm not going to even let <clears throat> a little bit of rust like that 
stay on the bolt. I'm going to remove literally every single piece. Every single bit I can see with the naked eye, brother. Because you know how we roll, no messing about here. See that yellow inside? That's this chemical. I don't know why, it just sometimes sticks to, sticks to bits. That's pretty cool. There we go, no rust. Obviously it's a little bit like looks hazy and stuff. But that's just what'll happen because the rust will, you know, it'll, it'll eat away at the finishes and stuff like that, so. It'll, it'll always look dull like this. But yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? So that, I mean, I'll clean these up in a sec. You don't need to see that. I just need to wipe all that chemical off. And if any of them have any extra bits of rust, I'll just chuck them back in. But that's pretty much what you're going to get yourself to. Let's give you a little close-up. You'll get yourself to something like this. If you really wanted to. Which isn't bad. Pretty respectable. I mean, compared to what it looked like before. Like I say, if you, if you kept on top of the stuff and cleaned it more regularly, but most people aren't going to take off their calipers to like the extent that I would go to, like as for general maintenance and stuff like that, just to keep it clean. This is just a what happens if you leave your calipers on, you know, forever. When you change the brake pads and stuff, <clears throat> it's worth you taking it all off and cleaning it up. Just makes it last a bit longer, you know. And there we go, here's your clips. And yeah, and then you wouldn't have like some of the marks on them and stuff like that that these have. But yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty sweet. The way that all came out. Yeah, so there we go. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Hang around for the next video and yeah, live it up, superstars.